What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jermaine, I'm back with another video. So this morning, I went down to the Apple store and I got a new iPad, like the M1s. This is the third generation iPad Pro. This right here is my older iPad, second generation iPad Pro. And um, I thought I would do a speed test of pretty much the rendering speeds on LumaFusion. LumaFusion is the editing software I use to edit my videos. And I thought I would do like a, a, a speed test to see which one is faster. Now with the new M1 chip, supposedly the you know, M1 Mac is supposed to be a lot faster and it's supposed to be a lot smoother and stuff like that. So I thought I would, um, you know, make a little video and, you know, maybe we could see, compare and contrast. We can do a little timer, see where iPad, you know, completes fastest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to LumaFusion here and I'm going to create a new project. If you guys haven't used LumaFusion, it's freaking awesome. It's a it's a great app for like video editing. So I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna make a new project. I'm just gonna name it new project just because this is just a little YouTube test. But I'm gonna come down 4K. I mean, I'm gonna come down and hit 60 frames per second. And then my aspect, we're gonna do portrait because uh, this is actually a little, it's a little something, something I'm, I'm doing for like an Instagram clip. No, I don't wanna watch a tutorial. Um, we're gonna go down. I got this footage right here. So this footage right here was um, something like I was doing earlier. So now here I just dropped in some footage on this iPad. And on the other iPad, um, I could go to LumaFusion here. Now, once again, I can use the Apple Pencil, the second generation Apple Pencil. This Apple Pencil, I was using it with my second generation iPad. You can use the Apple Pencil with the new iPad. However, the only difference is you can't use them at the same time. You have to... Like, like use one on one iPad. So I'm just gonna use it on this iPad just, just to keep it everything simple. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and we're gonna render these files. And we're just gonna see how long it takes to render these files. So we're gonna come over here. Now it shows us, um, you know, 4K 60, um, you know, 60 frames per second. Now here it gives us our export information, gives us all the information we need to to export this for some reason it looks to be bigger on this ipad than it is this ipad maybe there's like a software update like this is the latest software on on this one and what we're going to do now is we're just going to export them on we're going to go not from standard but we're going to do quality because i always do quality for certain projects now we are going to get ready to set a timer here i don't know how i'm gonna you know press all three of these buttons at the same time but what we'll do, I'll press these these two and then I'll press this one because I literally only have two hands here. So there we go. So now we'll see which project finishes the fastest. Um, they may finish at the same time, but we'll just have to see. I mean, I got a timer here set and we will wait and see. Okay, so we're at the 14 minute mark. And the new iPad, the M1, is leading, but it's not leading by far. It's leading by just a couple seconds. Um, what What is this, like three to four seconds is leading by? So if you are looking to buy the new iPad, you know, for, for faster editing speeds using LumaFusion, well, this test might, might help you decide if you want to buy the iPad M1 for, for, for that one reason. But uh, this was one of the, the, the main tests I wanted to check out. And I just wanted to see if this one would be any faster. And it looks like the M1, it, I mean, it is faster than the, the second generation. But when I mean it's faster than the second generation, I don't mean by much. Um, these are about to finish up pretty soon. And uh, we'll, we'll see which one wins. I mean, obviously, we'll think that the M1 will win. But uh, yeah, we'll see just how much. Okay, we have our five second countdown here. Two, one. Wait, M1 just finished. All right. So about uh, what? About 16 minutes and 45 seconds or so. All right, cool beans. Done with this LumaFusion speed test edited in 4k 60 footage and for the most part it's not that much faster maybe it's a couple seconds faster but it's not 
you know, it's not really worth an upgrade. If you have the latest iPad, it's not really worth the upgrade to the newest one. Um, like I like like me, I just went from the second generation to the third generation. So if you are out there, if you have the second generation and you are thinking, should I get, you know, the, the latest M1? Will it be faster? Like, will, will it cut my, you know, editing times down in half, like the rendering times? Because, you know, you're still going to have to spend the same amount of time editing, but it's just the render times. Like, if you can, you know, render, like, half the speed, well, well, that would be a big, big, big jump up. But if you are rendering pretty much at the same speed, you know, if you're looking to buy this machine for, you know, faster editing, maybe, um, may, may, maybe it maybe it wouldn't necessarily work now there's some other cool things with this ipad um because i know some people are, are, out there may, may wonder why are, aren't you going to return it since it's not faster well there's some pretty cool camera features and there's like the i think the lightning port is like thunderbolt and there's like a couple of things um i've noticed that the screen is a little bit brighter the battery life is just a little bit better i mean i don't want to say it's like that much better but i'm just looking at both ipads here and i remember they were both at 70 percent and now the iPad, the, the iPad 3, the M1 is at 62%. And the iPad uh, third generation here is at 56%. It, this iPad, the third generation, it could be at 56% just because I have used this one a lot more. Like I've used it for the past year. And the M1 is like brand new out of the box. So like it's, you know, it's a good battery. Like it's a fresh battery. It, it hasn't been used like, like you know, the one I've had for the past year. So anyway, guys, just wanted to make a quick video. I wanted to show you guys like Luma Fusion, like the, the import, I mean, the, the export speeds. And I wanted to, you know, see if it was faster or, or if it was the same speed. Um, it was the same speed, it, you know, it really wasn't any faster. This was a video, like I said, I was looking for on, on YouTube. Like I was waiting for someone to make like this video because there's a lot of Luma Fusion editors out there nowadays. And, you know, I just haven't seen this video out there, so I wanted to make it, put it out there. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. And peace out, yo. Peace out. Ow.